Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Vân and in today's video, we're gonna learn more about the local insights of Vietnamese culture. And as you can see on the title, today we're gonna talk about the Vietnamese things that even Vietnamese people hate. And this video is inspired by one of my Japanese friends, Shun Chan, and he has his own YouTube channel as well. He talks about Japan and Japanese culture. So check out his channel because I think you're gonna learn so much about Japan from his lens. All right, so before going into the video today, I just wanted to say that the list is based on my personal observation and my experiences as a Vietnamese person. So if you have different opinions, either you agree or disagree, just leave it down in the comments below because I would love to hear and learn from you guys. And without further ado, here are the seven Vietnamese things that Vietnamese people hate. So we have different colors for our money. For example, 10,000 Vietnam Dong is like yellow color, 50,000 Vietnam Dong is pinkish color, and 100,000 Vietnam Dong has green color. But why? 20,000 and 500,000 have the same color. I mean, they're not the same, but very similar. You know, like the blue greenish color, and it is so hard to distinguish which is which. It's so confusing. One time when I ordered a Grab car, which is similar to Uber, I accidentally gave the driver 500,000 dong instead of 20,000 dong, and I didn't know that. And he was honest enough to give me back the change, but he was scolding at me because I gave him such a big amount of money. And usually the drivers here in Vietnam, they don't have much uh, big value of money. So if you give them uh, like 500,000 Vietnam dong, they won't have enough change uh, to make for other people. So yeah, like it's, it's kind of like a taboo in Vietnam if you give drivers a big value of money. The so two lessons here. One is not to confuse between 20,000 dong and 500,000 dong. And the second lesson is don't give Vietnamese driver big amount of money. Like Uncle Roger said, MSG makes everything taste better. MSG is king, king of, of flavor. flavor. And yes, MSG is popularly used in Vietnam, especially in the north. People from the south, they usually use sugar or honey to make their food tasty and flavorful. But in the north, to make the delicate and sweet broth, especially for pho, people would use MSG. I'm not saying all the Vietnamese restaurants use MSG. I know some restaurants don't use the magical salt. But the majority of Vietnamese restaurants, especially in the north, they use MSG. I know some people have very strong reaction to MSG. For example, my brother. He had a very bad headache after eating a bowl of pho with MSG in it. So yeah, MSG might taste good, but it's not very good for your health. So, sorry Uncle Roger. Hiya. Now I know why the city people are quite stressed. It's not because of work, it's actually because of traffic. At around 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Vietnam, Vietnamese people have to deal with traffic jams, constant honking, and the polluted air from all the vehicles. The majority of Vietnamese people drive motorbikes, and there are some crazy drivers out there. They would run the light, cut ahead of the truck, and they would like go on the sidewalks and just freak out some people who are trying to do exercises. It's very chaotic, and I'm not a fan of it. Not only me, but when you come to Vietnam, when you participate in the traffic here, you will see Vietnamese people are quite stressed about our own traffic. Besides the traffic, the hot climate drives us crazy as well. In the summer in Hanoi, it's like you enter the sauna for 24-7 because it's so humid. And in Saigon, it's like you're in an oven because of the dry heat. We're near the equator, so the summer here is unbearable. That's the reason why you see a lot of Vietnamese people, especially Vietnamese women, would cover themselves from head to toes to avoid the heat and to avoid skin cancer. Plus, there are a lot of people who choose to take naps to avoid the heat as well. I one time got sick from the heat. This is not joking at all. I was sick for three days because I didn't wear the ninja things because I went out at noon time. It was very stupid. So guys, please don't do that. Don't underestimate the weather here in Vietnam. 
we hate the summer here, it's so hot. Yeah, the heat makes us very tired and sluggish. Drinking is a big part of Vietnamese culture because it connects people together. It shows how welcoming, inviting, and warm-hearted Vietnamese people are. However, sometimes drinking can be seen as a burden for Vietnamese people, especially men. Some old fashioners think that if you can drink, you are strong and masculine, and if you refuse to drink, you are weak and very disrespectful. Additionally, Vietnamese people drink to build relationships in business, so some people have to drink to gain the respect and gain trust from their partners. Gradually, it's not something that people enjoy and have fun together anymore. It becomes a competition. As a result, it can lead to drunk driving, domestic violence, and drinking heavily can destroy mental and physical health. In my opinion, I think those outdated perceptions should be abolished because everyone should have a right to decide if he or she wants to drink or not. And drinking should be fun, right? There are not many public restrooms in Vietnam, and if there's one, they barely have toilet paper. Instead, they would use the bum gun, and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of it. Why would you want to walk around with your butt wet? I mean, some Vietnamese people don't mind using the bum gun, but I prefer toilet paper. Date is the Vietnamese Lunar New Year and is one of the biggest holidays for Vietnamese people. So it's super important. I loved date when I was a kid because I got to receive all the lucky monies in the red envelopes and I got to eat all the good food. But the older I get, the more I realize that all the traditions that we have to follow during date is actually very stressful. I have heard a lot of Vietnamese people, especially Vietnamese women, complain about all the preparations that we have to do before date. We have to clean the house, go shopping, cook, uh, giving out money to children and the elderly. So there are a lot of pressure for us as adults and especially Vietnamese women because they mainly prepare for date. So yeah, I feel like date would be fun when we're young but when we're adult. It's very, very stressful. Yeah, those are the Vietnamese things that are pretty inconvenient for Vietnamese people. So what do you think? Do you want to complete this list? Please leave it down in the comments below, okay? And if you think this video is helpful, please don't forget to drop a like and share my video. And don't forget to follow my channel too because I will come back with more video about Vietnam. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!